Hello again, Charles McNamara here. Good to be here. I got a few requests from some of you, so I figured let me just jump in and give you something that you have asked for. Some people were asking for additional information about our training, how to sign up and all of that, so I will cover that in this video. Um, you know, if you're a QR code person, you should be able to take your phone and open the camera and take a picture of that QR code now. Uh, that will help you get the package for the security guard training and fingerprints. You can also go to our website, uh, but that's the QR code. So if you're watching this, you can just grab your phone and scan that QR code. Um, several people had asked for some detailed information. I'm happy to go over this. Um, you know, they wanted to know a little more about the journey, see if I had any photos of things that I've done in the city. So that's why we're here today. Uh, it's a special bonus edition video. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to go over a couple of things uh, that I've done in my career, share it with you, and hopefully that helps you on your journey. And I've always lived by this um, quote, a candle loses nothing by lighting more candles. Knowledge does not diminish when shared. And I think that's important. If you're in a leadership role, um, you know, whether it's a security manager, a director of operations, uh, a CEO, HR, anybody who deals with people in a leadership position, you should be helping others along the way. Um, you know, we'll talk a little bit about some of my journey from the previous video. If you didn't watch it, go back and check that out. First one, we'll talk a little bit. Yeah, that's me. Oh my gosh, that is so old. Uh, in uh, mighty fine Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Some fun facts about the United States Army. This will defend. Uh, George Washington chose the Army's first dress colors in 1779. Um, there have only been five five-star generals in the Army, and a third of the Union Army soldiers were immigrants. So pretty cool fun facts. Um, yeah, I didn't know what I wanted to do. But I figured, let me do something. So I joined the military, uh, United States Army. You know, it took me a while to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, you know, when I got back here in New York City, I wanted to pursue a career in security management and law enforcement. So I went to college uh, for a pretty good amount of time. Look at that fancy graduate right there, a cap and gown. I studied uh, criminal justice at a 3.A. 3.8 GPA. Um, I did very well in school just because a lot of the subject matter was similar to what I dealt with at work on a day-to-day -day basis. So that was pretty cool. 3.8, hard to do. Um, you know, some people say you've got to get a great GPA, but when you're going to work full-time and going to school full-time can be difficult. So I feel for you students, if you're in class, just keep on driving forward, get it done. It's a really, really good thing to have at the end of the day. Um, but school is very, very important. Next up, uh, this was a really cool event that I did in 2012. 2012, we had the New York City Fire Department come to one of the properties. I was a director of security, and we went over you know, emergency action plans. Each company talked a little bit about their program and what they were doing. Um, this was really for large scale emergencies in New York City. Um, it was in the heart of Midtown, right near Times Square, right near um, Grand Central Station. So, you know, there's a, a, an emergency in that area. Uh, there's a lot of different pieces of the puzzle that um, you kind of need to know and, and have like an overview to see what's going on. Each company is going to do their own thing. Next, we had uh, this pretty cool event, which I was lucky to bring uh, NYPD Shield to a property. We did active shooter training in uh, 2013. Pretty crazy to think, you know, a decade ago. Um, it was, you know, kind of the start of this great program with um, NYPD Shield, public and private private partnership. They would come out to properties and talk a little bit about security awareness, active shooter drills. Um, now it's kind of, you know, commonplace. Um, almost in every sector, not just office buildings. You know, pretty scary. Would love to know your thoughts. Have you ever taken part of an active shooter training or drill? I would like to know. So as I got more and more into the emergency management aspect of things, I found out about this great program called CERT. 
CERT is a great program. It's uh, a 10 week training course. It's all volunteer. Um, Community Emergency Response Teams, CERT. Great program. Look it up. The city offers it. It's free of charge. If you're a security guard, if you're a security manager, um, if you're just a citizen who wants to know more about emergency preparedness, this is a great thing to be part of in your community. Uh, they do a ton of events all over the five boroughs. Uh, you know, you kind of get assigned to your neighborhood, sir, um, which is pretty cool. And, you know, if you want to be like me, like a train the trainer, you know, um, you know, teach others, it's a great program. My favorite was up next. Ah, oh, CPR. Oh, I try to do at least one or two of these every month. Gets a little busy, uh, but some fun facts about the Red Cross, if you didn't know, their disaster relief efforts are 24 seven. They respond to fires, hurricanes, earthquakes, terrorism, you name it. Uh, a lot of great folks, and they're really, really there to help people in need. Another thing about the Red Cross, they need your blood like yesterday. They do a lot of blood donations all over. Um, one donation can save up to three lives, you know, some really, really important stuff. You know, we talked a little bit about the, um, you know, the fire department and the police department. You know, they serve over 8 million residents in New York City. Um, the fire department headquarters is located at 9 Metro Tech in Brooklyn, New York. The NYPD headquarters, one police plaza. Um, you know, fun fact. I always like fun facts. People say, you know, where, where the heck did the Dalmatians come from? Uh, you know, they were chosen by firehouses over other dogs uh, because they really helped calm the horses. This is not the beginning of, of, you know, fire safety. Um, they had incredible endurance. It helped clear the way go into fires, they were very loyal, and they had extremely large, um, you know, frames, you know, and they were fast, and they had very loud barks, kind of cleared the way, it helped, with, you know, like the sirens for today, everybody hears them, everybody heard those Dalmatians. Uh, the NYPD, fun fact, um, has about 34,000 members active, um, and they have their own flag, and uh, it was created in 1919, um, you know, you see the green and white stripes, there's five of them, represents the five boroughs. Um, Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, Staten Island, Manhattan. The blue square represents the official color of the NYPD uniform. I uh, always like to drop some fun facts. Next, uh, I had the pleasure of taking the owner, uh, Bruce Weiss, out to a pretty cool event in the city, the ASIS Security Trade Show. They've got all of the new and cool technology out there in the city. Um, we were kind of hanging out by like the drone truck, uh, mobile command center. Um, so they had drones that would go out, survey the area. Um, fun fact, you know, that was a big part in a recent uh, parking lot collapse in New York City. They got a good overview of the drones, you know, to survey the area for first responders before going in. So really, really fun stuff. And last, I'm going to show you. This was a pretty fun event that uh, I managed. I led the way to bring Sabre uh, to our location. We did a train the trainer event. Uh, that was really, really fun. Um, you know, we're now teaching self-defense, which is important for um, everybody to know, I think. You should be um, always mindful that you are going to be your first responder in emergency. Um, call 911. It's going to take them time to get to you. Uh, but that was a really, really fun event. Hopefully this information was helpful. Uh, my name is Charles McNamara once again. And if you're looking to take training, the information is listed below. Uh, just visit our website, guardiangroupservices.com. Give us a call, 646-767-2477. Uh, you're looking to get your security guard license? We can help you. You're looking to do some CPR training? We can help you. If you're looking to take self-defense, um, learn about OC spray? We can help you. Um, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got value out of it. Um, and hopefully it leads you on the way um, to doing something good, building your career, building your skill sets. Stay safe, stay alert, stay alive.